Hey, this is Andrew Brown from Exam Pro, and we're taking a look at the types of cloud computing for Azure data related services. Starting at the top of our pyramid is software as a service, and it's a product that is run and managed by a service provider. So you do not worry about how the service is maintained. It just works and remains available. And this is specifically designed for customers. So uh, it's not particularly Azure services, um, but it'll be like Microsoft based services like Power BI or the Office 365 suite. Uh, is going to be software as a service. Going down to platform as a service, this focuses on deployment and management of your apps, so you do not worry about provisioning and configuring or understanding the hardware or OS layer. Uh, this is specifically for developers, so we would put HD Insights, Azure SQL, Cosmo DB, Managed SQL, all right, and at the bottom we have infrastructure as a service. Uh, these are the basic building blocks for cloud IT. It provides access to networking features, computers, and data storage space. You do not worry about the IT uh, staff, data centers, and hardware. And underneath here we would have, this would be for admins, but we'd have Azure disks, virtual machines, SQL VMs. And honestly, uh, you know, like when you look at AWS and Azure, the, these kind of uh, um, categories are defined a little bit differently. So, uh, you know, like managed SQL, I would probably put that in infrastructure as a service but uh, Azure says that it goes into the mid tier. And I really wanna pull up a particular document here that I think is important uh, because this is all about the Azure SQL family and they're specifically categorizing these in particular. So you go down below here and when we're looking, I have them on here, but when you look here, I have SQL VM down below. So that would be considered infrastructure as a service. You have managed SQL where they put in the middle, but they categorize it as platform as a service. And then you have, it's covered up here. We have Azure SQL Database, which is Platform as a Service. I'm showing you this because they might ask you this question on the exam. Uh, and so I just wanted to point that out to you there, but there you go.